What's up guys in today's video we're gonna go over the Volk Asari for we're gonna talk about the two best class setups Then what are actually the best attachments to use in order how to build that best class setup as far as what makes this gun Excellent, it's basically a hybrid of rifle SMG So the mobility of this gun is incredible You have the fastest strafe speed movement speed ADS speed of every rifle, and there's a very couple few SMGs that have better mobility than it the only negative about this gun would be the range. It does have the least amount of range out of all the assault rifles, but one of the fastest killing guns, the only gun that kills faster is the AS-44. So TTK-wise, this gun's incredible. Mobility-wise, is incredible. So for the best class setup, we're gonna go over one, which does include the Russian ammo, which is obviously gonna improve your time to kill. Then obviously, after I show you the class of you're going to compare the 7.62 ammo versus the 8mm ammo, which is the base ammo. Compare to the Russian ammo to see how it actually affects your time to kill and your recoil to see which is the best one. So like I said, the best personal class setup for me with the Russian ammo it does improve your TTK, which this is already one of the fastest killing guns. It takes it under 200 milliseconds, which is one of the fastest killing guns in the game. Obviously, Mercury Silencer Russian ammo with the barrel. These basically just improve your ADS speed, your movement to make the gun better where it's already good, but you get low range. So with this gun having, in my opinion, an average accuracy, you wanna improve that with the long barrel. With this class setup, obviously the Slayer Frector. Under barrel, I always run the hand stop because it has a 5% improvement to both vertical and horizontal while only affecting your hip fire. So the negative is very minimal. Uh, I always run FMJ on pretty much all my rifles. With the stock, this is where we're going for the biggest difference. Like I said, what makes this gun excellent is that ADS speed. The straight speed is second in the game only to the Sten. So by improving this by 30%, our strafe speed is almost 100%, which is faster moving than pretty much every gun in the game while strafing. So to make the gun better where it's best is excellent. It also improves your initial accuracy and improves your aim walking steadiness. So your overall player tracking, your ability to win close range gunfights is massively improved because you get a nickel, initial accuracy, aim walking steadiness helps your gun to stay on target and your strafe speeds improve. All you lose out is on hit fire once again and your sprint to fire goes down pretty low. But in my opinion, the only way to improve this gun and make it best where it's already the best like I said, with that initial accuracy, we're going to be comparing and improving that once again with the stippled grip. This does improve your centering speed and once again, your initial accuracy. So I like to always build my class ups to stack things together to improve them. So that improves our initial accuracy and recoil. As far as the proficiency, the perfectionist is excellent but it does make our flinch resistance worse, which I definitely noticed. So I personally, I'm gonna be putting on the fleet because we are going to improve our mobility, which you guys can see. Movement speed, strafe speed goes up, I think by 2% both with this. So now your movement speed is 100%, your strafe speed is over 100%. So definitely excellent. And then we once again have fully loaded. So that is the best rushing class setup. Like I said, TTK is excellent. You can see your movement speed, straight speed is excellent. Your recoil, horizontal wise, still being under 10 is excellent. The recoil is not the best, um, but it's definitely top tier in my opinion. And then the overall movement you guys can see is incredible. So if we go through and take off all these attachments here, we're going to be switching to the overall accuracy class setup, obviously using the same long barrel. 
we are going to be running the 60 round mag which obviously has no effect on recoil this time though we are switching to the s12 stock which gives us plus three plus three plus two and plus one so our overall accuracy is massively improved with that flinch resistance and recoil control we are going to go for the polymer grip which is once again going to improve our flinch resistance while giving us recoil during sustained fire so this gun's long range are going to be shooting a lot that accuracy during sustained fire is going to help improve that a lot so the polymer grip and the stock stack together to counter this perfectionist because this is going to give us 10 percent overall improvement to our recoil and accuracy in exchange for flinch resistance so you can see we went all the way down to 46 and 5 which is excellent so this is the best accuracy class setup i just dropped a v2 with it this gun's incredible so we're going to take a look at it quickly is comparing those two different ttks and ranges and accuracy to each other of those two class setups versus the other ammo type and then showcase the two gameplays where i got a v2 rocket in one of them so let's jump into it all right so the first thing we have on the top here this is our base volk you guys can see 28 meters of range 750 fire rate recoil is very good four to five shots to kill is 240 milliseconds so this is a good weapon under 250 ttk is excellent fire rates average range is below average but the recoil and shots to kill is very good by swapping the 30 russian ammo we're going to increase our close range shots to kill and our long range shots to kill which goes from four to five down to three to four our fire goes down a little bit, but our range is improved, I believe, by 15%. So an excellent improvement in range. Recoil is about 28% worse overall, which is obviously a huge negative. But to go down to 176 milliseconds time to kill is definitely incredible. Anything under 200 milliseconds is incredible. So to improve our TTK, which was already very good, to now be under 200 milliseconds, in my opinion is definitely a must needed for this weapon as far as the 7.62 ammo obviously you guys know absolutely atrocious takes our shots to kill from four to five down to five to seven does improve our fire rate and our recoil which helps and in my opinion i really did like this setup um the recoil was incredible like don't get me wrong i'm not gonna say this, this is trash the recoil was amazing but at the point of getting the incredible recoil with this class setup you might as well just use the automaton, which is going to have the same TDK, but kill faster at range with the same amount of recoil you're getting. So it's excellent attachment. Like I said, this is basically just the automaton. So the 30 rush animal or the base Volk, definitely two different best ways to build them. So when you go down here and you actually agree that best class, like I said, this gun's excellent mobility category. The overall difference though with the Russian ammo, because it's made for close range aggression, you do have a 260 millisecond ADS, which is godly. This is actually extremely fast. Your straight speed's at 90%, which if you're comparing this to other guns in the game, the only thing it competes is the Sten. And then 94% movement is average for us firefuls, but is incredible. Recoil is 69 and 7, which is still not that bad. But your TTK is 176, all up to 42 meters. So incredible improvement in the range, which is 50% improved over the base weapon. So as far as comparing it to the base ammo, your ADS is still godly. Your stray speed is still godly. Your movement speed is the fastest of the assault rifles, but your recoil is very low. Um, TTK wise, still 240, but you do get 60 extra bullets. So these two class setups pretty much in my opinion are head to head. Uh, I actually got the V2 rocket with the base ammo, not with the rush ammo because the rush ammo recoil is not as good. So basically the difference is, like I said, that stray speed and your TTK is incredible. So if you're using the Russian ammo, make sure you are stacking with attachments that are made for aggression. So those are the different stats. We're going to showcase the gameplay for you guys now. Closing with Charlie. That's a triple off the V, baby. I don't want for the push-up.
No, I got shot in the back. Fuck, why did I want off? I have seven. How do I have seven? Oh, I got a six. Secure I have seven eliminations, but I don't have my bomb. Watch it. No way, you're, I'm running out of way, you're just sitting in a corner, dude. What's up with these flip spawns, man? We're flipping, 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 flipping. The recoil difference between us and us. Right now, but I'm They're taking Baker. Closing with Charlie. All objectives secure. Dig it. Let's go, baby. Drop. This class is way. I like this class better.
So lucky I ran into that ammo, bro. I was only got 35, bro. Holy crap, dude, just dropped like 35 in a row. Two, let's see if I can drop another one. Sure, do not actually call my V2. I literally am on a 7. Dude, this game is so bad. I'm on a 7 kill streak. I'm about to get dogs, and I died in my own fucking lung. I've died in my own fucking run twice! I have one kill. I got fucking two to my own bomb run. What the fuck? <laughs> fucking dog shit kill streak, man. Rocket 92. That accuracy class up's much better. You can actually hit your shots. Fucking 92 kills, bro. Track dad. Sitting there watching that. Securing Charlie. Enemy 
They've taken Baker. Go for the dogs. Charlie is lost. Friendly attack dogs on the way for backup. Local informers never a pulse. No, why? Where did you come from? Holy crap, you scared me. Calling in advance, and they still have a fucking counter or something, dude. What the fuck? Can't even fucking see my fucking radar. Yeah, nice, good quad feed, clear the middle and die on run.
teammate called a bombing run. Heads up. Luckily, fuck right now. They flip on us or something? Oh, never is. Seven, let's go, baby. TTK on this thing makes some of these clips like you get feed after feed. That recall class setup will not do that. That one feed I got like a nine man or something on. Yeah, this one right here. Three, that's five. 